Hey everyone, hope you're all doing great. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're already a subscriber, it's nice to see you again. And if you are new, my name's Saga. I'm a current aerospace engineering student at the University of Sheffield, and I'm currently in my final year. So today in this video, what I wanna share is my tips of public speaking and how you can prepare for public speaking events and how you can become more confident and less scared of these sort of events. So, let's get straight into the video. Before I share my points, I thought it's important to emphasize why public speaking is useful for everyone, or a useful skill, should I say, for everyone. Well, it's more or less guaranteed that, you know, throughout your life, you're going to have to stand up and talk in front of people. So that could be through your career, or it could be if you want to roast your friend on their wedding day as uh, the person who's been designated to give the speech. But ultimately, you know, in a social or a work environment, it's likely that you will have to do public speaking at some point in your life. So it's always a great skill to try and master. So now let's go on to the main event of this video, which is my tips for you guys on how to be better at public speaking. Firstly, I think it's important for me to say that I'm not an expert in public speaking. I'm still learning the skills myself, but I've had my fair share of presentations and talks to deliver. So I'm hoping to share some of the things I found that worked for me and hopefully they work for you as well. So if you do enjoy this video and learn some stuff, please like and subscribe. My first tip is about how to prepare for a presentation or a talk that you want to give. The strategy that works for me is just to plan out some vague points that I want to really make and ensure that I remember that these are the things that I need to talk about and what what I can do from that is really deliver my personality through the presentation because the difference between recalling a script that you've already written and sort of making up the presentation on the fly is that you can talk as though you're in a normal conversation really because when you're talking to a friend you don't really bring up you know a script that you wrote before and it's like oh yes this is what I need to talk about to my friend today because that just feels unnatural and in some cases unauthentic so the way I think is probably the best way for you to prepare for a presentation is to remember the key points you want to cover, but not necessarily a script for like word for word. So this is my number one tip of how to prepare for your presentation. The second point I want to cover is how to be less nervous when you're having to do a presentation, a talk, or whatever the public speaking scenario may be. I think having confidence is probably one of the biggest things when it comes to public speaking because if you do have confidence, you're gonna be much more relaxed when talking, you're gonna be more effective at bringing your point across um, for whatever that may be. And ultimately, you're actually going to enjoy speaking more in public. And this is why I think being confident whilst public speaking is so important because it can really make or break the way you deliver your talk. So this is going to sound kind of weird because I've this weird hack that helps me become more confident when public speaking. So it's going to sound really strange, but what I do when I have this sort of presentation to give or especially when it's a talk in front of many people, I sort of just become like a godlike person in a weird, that sounds so cringy to say out loud, but in my head, I just sort of think that, yeah, I'm the best, I can do all of this, you know, everyone else is worse than me, so, so I, I become like weirdly internally toxic, if that makes sense, um, and it sort of helps because you have so much self-confidence built into you that you don't even feel the nerves at that point when you're going to deliver a speech or something. But the key thing is you don't want to look like a, a dickhead really so you got to remember that that's not you in the real world so that's just you presenting you so um, you need to make sure you don't translate your super high ego into other areas if that's sort of the sort of mind frame you get into in a presentation but uh, ultimately I, I think that this sort of way of thinking has come from the time when I used to compete in karate competitions because more often than not if I think that yes I will win this fight I more or less would but whenever whenever I was less confident I would more or less lose so I think it goes to show that the way 
to deliver an effective talk and how to feel confident when doing so is just to believe that you can and believe in your own abilities to give that talk and always think about it like you know you're giving that talk so the people listening to you know less than you because otherwise why would they be listening from you right and I feel as though this is much more useful advice than the stupid crap that other people say like imagine the crowd naked or like I don't know how that makes sense I mean, because that's just really weird. Imagine, like, just imagine the crowd naked. I, I don't even know why you would do that. Like, that, that's just odd. But, uh, yeah, I mean, those are the two points I wanted to cover in this video and keep it nice and short for you guys. And hopefully you're able to become better at public speaking and also develop that skill for your careers and just life in general. Because I know I'm trying to work on it myself. So... It's always a, a good skill to make sure you develop throughout your life. Well, I hope you guys learned stuff in my video. And if you did, consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel. And I'd also say follow me on TikTok if you use that as well, because I posted some videos on there that you might enjoy. And I shall see you in another video. Thanks again for watching it and see you around.